indicated horsepower. Indicated horsepower equals plank divided by 33,000. When we take a look at the factors in here, and when we talk about a factor, it's a multiple. So in some cases, this multiple, we need to actually establish what each value is as we define plank. So when we take a look at plank, P equals pressure, or mean effect of pressure in the cylinder. The L is indicative of length in stroke feet. Then the A is indicative of area, and we did a calculation earlier on area. The N is the number of power strokes the engine produces, and the C is the number of cylinders in application. And again, these are factors, so they're all multiplied together, divided by 33,000 to give us our theoretical or our indicated horsepower the manufacturer would be deciding on to create an engine that has a certain amount of horsepower. Then they need to take a look at frictional horsepower losses, accessory loads, um, the mechanical efficiency of the engine, and through calculation, then they can create what's called brake horsepower based on indicated horsepower values. And again, indicated horsepower is always a theoretical value.